Simple, easy, awesome. Covering Windsor and all of Hartford County, Eyewitness News is everywhere. Netflix. They're the streaming service that turned every blockbuster video into a seasonal Halloween store, and uh, they just made a big announcement. Big news today out of Netflix, raising prices for U.S. subs as much as 18%, effective immediately for new users. That's right, Netflix is increasing its prices, which I'm sorry, is so unfair. Do they even care about how this is going to affect me and my mom and Kibuka and Olisa and all the other people using my account? No, they don't care. They don't care. I mean, before, I could divide $11 by the 11 people who have my password, but 13, that shit makes no sense. Now I'm gonna have to give two more people my login details. So if anyone wants to join my account, it's T Noah, and then the password is Takamba, okay? Yeah. Obviously, all caps. Go crazy. <laughs> all caps, I'm thinking that's K Q P Q. Got it, Trevor. Yeah. Got it. Log it on. That's Trevor Noah on the big news from Netflix about its price hike. We'll have more on that in just a moment. It doesn't seem such an unreasonable thing to me, this price hike, the way they're doing it. But we're going to discuss. We're going to discuss. <laughs> Lots to discuss about that. Welcome back to CBS This Morning. Here are three things that you should know this morning. The Senate will vote for a second time today on a bill involving Russia sanctions. If passed, the Trump administration would not be able to lift sanctions on Russian companies controlled by an influential oligarch with ties to the Kremlin. In a rare split with President, with, with the president yesterday, 11 Senate Republicans joined with Democrats to advance that bill. Lawmakers say that lifting the sanctions sends the wrong message to Russia. CBS Health Plan members will no longer be able to fill their prescriptions at Walmart. The two companies are splitting after a dispute over pricing. CBS says the retail giant's demand for bigger reimbursements could result in higher costs for customers. Walmart says it's dedicated to providing accessible and affordable health care. The split does not affect Medicare beneficiaries or Walmart's Sam's Club pharmacies. Less than 5% of CBS's 93 million plan members use Walmart to fill their prescriptions. And starting today, YouTube is trying to save people from themselves by banning videos that encourage dangerous activities that could result in physical harm. The decision comes amid reports of injuries sustained by people doing the Bird Box Challenge, inspired by the hit movie. YouTube is also prohibiting videos containing pranks that make victims believe they're in serious physical danger or cause children to experience severe emotional stress. The platform says it needs to make sure what's funny doesn't cross the line into also being harmful or dangerous. I mean, any that's question? A good rule. I mean, any question whether that was funny to begin with, yeah, right? That's a good rule. Well, Netflix is hitting viewers with the biggest price hike in its history. Monthly subscriptions are going up by 13 to 18 percent. The most popular plan will now cost about $156 a year. New Netflix users are already being charged the higher prices. Existing customers will see them phased in over the next few months. Wired editor-in-chief and CBS News contributor Nick Thompson takes a closer look at subscription services like Netflix and how they don't seem to have trouble keeping customers even after price hikes. At least not yet. Nick, good morning. Good morning. Netflix has made big bets on lots of original programming to set itself apart from its competitors. Yesterday, the company's stock price soared almost $22 to nearly $355 per share, reflecting Wall Street's belief that higher prices won't upset consumers. From TV shows like Stranger Things, Orange is the New Black, uh, told you to stay on the boat, to movies like Bird Box, Netflix has been churning out hit after hit after hit. While all that original content draws in new subscribers, it also costs a lot to produce, as Netflix subscribers are finding out. Its most expensive monthly plan now costs $16. Compare that to $12 for Hulu, $9 for Amazon Prime Video, and $10 for CBS All Access, offered by the parent company of CBS News. This is the fourth price hike over the last five years, and people keep paying. So Financial analyst Rick Munoris says, Netflix is the world's largest premium video service, with nearly 150 million subscribers. Its membership has almost tripled since 2014, even though the price of its standard plan has gone up nearly 63 percent. 
It's a monthly plan. Uh, it, it is something that you sort of just set it and forget it, like many other monthly subscription services. It's almost an afterthought when you're scouring your credit card bill and that twelve ninety nine a month comes around. You're usually fine with it. Menoris believes most customers will continue paying for Netflix. Welcome to prison. <laughs> so long as the company keeps delivering hits. Times. There will come a point where people say, you know, Moss. But until they get to that point, you're going to see Netflix nickel and dime about every year or so and adjust their prices higher. In a statement, a Netflix spokesman said, we change pricing from time to time as we continue investing in great entertainment. Its members will get 30 days notice via email before they start getting their higher monthly bills. So we know Wall Street liked the news because it shows that the company is investing in new content. Is there a ceiling, though, for when subscribers will finally say, as that analyst said, no mas? I think so, particularly because they're raising their prices right before they're about to get a whole bunch of new competitors. We don't know what Apple is about to offer. Disney's going to pull its content from Netflix. There's something coming from AT&T. So it's about to get hairier, but the prices are going up. But is the price increase really that much? I mean, Trevor was making a joke about it, but <laughs> it has been a problem with people taking other people's passwords. Not that I would know anything about that. But it has been a, people, it has been a problem. They've been losing money with people sort of taking other people's uh, accounts. Well, I... For what Netflix offers, if they can continue offering hit after hit, yeah, you sure. get a lot it's of a bang good, for your buck with Netflix. It's a good price, and that's why part of the reason why Wall Street was so excited. Also, nobody knows how to cancel any of their subscriptions yeah. anyway, yeah. Right. and so there's a sense that you can increase the prices, and even if people are upset. Is it unreasonable, Nick, is my question to you. This is the price, price unreasonable? Yes. I think, I think people yeah. will start you to think notice, okay. because if subscription fees go up and your salary doesn't go up and it yeah. stays the same, people will have to make decisions about what they're going to pay for. Especially if there are other options to choose from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much, Nick. I'm going to keep my account. I still think you get a lot of bang for your buck. Well, I do, too. Yeah. But I'm just saying that I'm just trying to be realistic no, about people I, other than ourselves. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's you. That's you think right. of others. That's good. Yeah. That's good. No. Love you. All right. Well, they work that out. We have this. <laughs> <laughs> New satellites are moving into position that will track commercial planes anywhere on the planet in real time. Ahead, a look at how this breakthrough technology works. And to keep track of us, no matter where you are, subscribe to our CBS This Morning podcast. Hear the day's top stories and what's happening in your world in less than 20 minutes. You're watching CBS This Morning. And that's free, by the way, the podcast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, used to first dates. <laughs> you look amazing. And you look amazingly comfortable. When your V-neck looks more like a U-neck, that's when you know it's half washed. Add Downy to keep your collars from stretching. Unlike detergent alone, Downy conditions to smooth and strengthen fibers. So next time, don't half wash it. Downy, and it's done. Fitting in good doesn't have to be hard. Dive into satisfying flavors like creamy strawberry cheesecake. With 12 grams of protein and 80 calories, light and fit Greek nonfat yogurt makes it easy to fit in good. <laughs> when you have a cold, pain from chest congestion can make this feel like this. All in one cold symptom relief from Tylenol, the number one doctor recommended pain relief brand. Tylenol. How would I describe over pain on a used car? It was humiliating. It's expensive. <sighs> Only Carfax.com can give you the most accurate price based on the Carfax report. Stop the shame of overpaying and start your used car search today at Carfax.com. The Upside is the number one movie in America. Tell you boo. My boo. Are you my boo? No, I'm no. not your boo. Genuinely funny. Oh, it's the first feel-great comedy of the new year. Are you ready to have your mind blown? I'm so ready. The Upside. Ready PG-13. Fact. Some of your favorite foods stain teeth. Unlike ordinary whitening toothpaste, Colgate Optic White has hydrogen peroxide that goes below the tooth's surface. For a smile, it's four shades visibly wider. Colgate Optic White. Whitening that works. People are managing their type 2 diabetes with fitness, friends, and Farsiga, the pill that starts with F. Farsiga, along with diet and exercise, helps lower A1C in adults with type 2 diabetes. It's one pill a day, and although it's not a weight loss drug, it may help you lose weight. Do not take if allergic to Farsiga. If you experience symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, swelling, difficulty breathing, or swallowing, stop taking and seek medical help right away.
Do not take Farsiga if you have severe kidney problems, are on dialysis, or have bladder cancer. Tell your doctor right away if you have blood or red color in your urine or pain while you urinate. Farsiga can cause serious side effects including dehydration, genital yeast infections in women and men, serious urinary tract infections, low blood sugar, and kidney problems. Stop taking Farsiga and call your doctor right away if you have signs of ketoacidosis, which is serious and may lead to death. Ask your doctor about the pill that starts with F and visit Farsiga.com for savings. If you can't afford your medication, AstraZeneca may be able to help. This year, our big resolution is to eat healthier as a family, even our four-legged family members. So now they're getting Blue Buffalo. It's made with high-quality, healthy ingredients. Make your own Blue Year's resolution. Pick up a bag of Blue Wilderness at your favorite pet specialty store. New Thursday, Sheldon's up for a Nobel Prize. Minus Amy? You think I'm the kind of man who would sell out his partner for the chance of winning a Nobel Prize? Are you? Boy, I hope not. <laughs> then, kid geniuses say the darndest things. Do you have any idea where I could obtain radioactive material? Don't miss a new young Sheldon after a new Big Bang, CBS Thursday. Big surprises. Is this a surprise, Squire? Bigger reactions. Oh, my gosh! Yeah. Awesome. Making lives better, one surprise at a time. Wow, how cool is that? <laughs> Thank you, Channel 3. The Liberty Bank Surprise Squad, Thursdays on Eyewitness News. Do you have trouble bending and putting your shoes on? You have to try Kizik. I can't bend over, but these are the easiest shoes in the world to put on. And they look great. We guarantee it. For the first time, a new network of satellites will soon be able to track all commercial airlines in real time anywhere on the planet. Currently, planes are largely tracked by radar on the ground, which doesn't cover much of the world's oceans. The final 10 satellites were launched Friday to wrap up the $3 billion effort to replace 66 aging communication satellites. Chris Van Cleve got an early look at the new technology. He's at Reagan National Airport outside Washington, D.C. Chris, good morning. Good morning. When all these flights take off, they're pretty easy to track with radar while they're over land. When they get to water, it's another story. Take a look at this. Right now, these are all the planes flying. You can see there are thousands in the air, many of them over water. Now, by 2020, any airliner flying in or out of the U.S. or Europe has to have a GPS transponder. Most of them have one now. It's that transponder that allows these new satellites to know where they are precisely anywhere around the world. Five. Tucked inside this SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket two, as it blasted one. into space Friday. Ignition, lift off the of Falcon 9. Are 10 advanced Iridium communication satellites, each the size of a Mini Cooper. Once active, they'll power satellite phone communications, space based broadband, and carry a device like this, which will solve an issue that's plagued aviation for decades. 70% of the world's airspace has no surveillance. Aircraft fly over the oceans and report back their positions to air traffic control every 10 to 15 minutes at best. And in between those periods, no one knows where they are. McLean, Virginia-based Arion was developing the technology to change that even before Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 vanished over the Indian Ocean in March 2014. But a Boeing 777 with 239 aboard disappearing was a wake-up call, prompting years of safety experts demanding change. Former NTSB chair Debbie Herzman in 2016. I can find my kids by pinging their iPhone. We shouldn't have aircraft that disappear anywhere in the world today. To make that happen, the Arion technology is hitching a ride to space as part of the largest technology swap the universe has ever seen. Iridium is replacing its existing constellation of 66 satellites and nine spares orbiting the Earth, built and launched in the mid-90s. It's kind of like changing a tire on a bus going 17,000 miles an hour. So this is the first time that they've been alive in space. Walt Everett's helped design the first generation of Iridium satellites, naming two of them after his sons Nicholas and Andrew. He'll be in the company's command center outside Washington, D.C. as his team maneuvers the new satellites into place, simultaneously powering on the new and deactivating the old. The legacy satellites will then be moved out of orbit, where they'll burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. With these new satellites that we're putting up, we have more capacity, more processing capability, more memory. And so we are taking a old flip phone and upgrading it into a smartphone. 
While not fully complete, the updated network circling the globe 485 miles overhead is already tracking planes. Arion was able to instantly confirm the last known location of Lion Air Flight 610, the Boeing 737 MAX that crashed in the Java Sea last October. With the Iridium Arion system, Every airplane is really within reach of an air traffic controller. So no matter what happened to that airplane, we would know within seconds of where that airplane was. There are some other potential benefits. Air traffic controllers may be able to allow more planes to be in the air at the same time on some of those busy over ocean routes. What does that mean for flyers? The potential of more flights to places like Europe, potentially fewer delays, and even more direct routes so your flight times could get shorter. Nora? Well, I like all of those yeah. things. Yeah. Shorter, less yeah. delays. We approve, Chris. Not Van 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 Van. Yeah. Love those nice. advances. What a great story. Thank you so much, Chris. And up next, a look at this morning's other headlines, including how an unknown teenager was tapped to star in Steven Spielberg's Hollywood remake of West Side Story. But first, it's 745. Time to check your local weather. Hi, everybody. Going to be a nice day today. We are expecting temperatures to climb close to 40 degrees, which is a little bit better than average. The normal high for this time of year is 34. Partial sunshine and a bit milder than where we've been over the past couple of days. The sun is up at 716, sets at 446. Your seven-day forecast, well, it includes two storms. One tomorrow night through Friday morning. That could snarl up the Friday morning commute. And then a bigger storm rolls in Saturday night through Sunday with several different types of precipitation. That's a check of your early morning forecast. Have a great day, everyone. Of CBS This Morning, sponsored by Toyota. Let's go places. When cravings hit, hit back. Choose Glucerna with slow-release carbs to help manage blood sugar and start making everyday progress. Glucerna. Shakim, get in here. Take your razor, yep. All right, up and down, never side to side, Shakim, you got it? Come on, get back. Keem, we're second behind your brothers. Take focus. Can't nobody beat you. Can't nobody beat you. All work, baby. Come pay off. He's got this. With the 141st pick of the Seattle Seahawks select. All right, you got this, you can. All right, let me see. Ow, it hurts that you're not using smarter tools to manage your business. You work too hard to work this hard. Collecting receipts? Is it the 80s? Does anybody have a mixtape I can borrow? You should be chasing pets, not chasing payments. QuickBooks gives you a sweet set of business tools that'll do all the hard work for you. You may groom corgis, but you don't have to work like a dog. You earned it. We're here to make sure you get it. It's time to get yours. QuickBooks, backing you. Nick, Nick, we need a decision. Oh. These days, we all feel a little anxious sometimes. But if you could see inside my mind, you'd find I'd go to my happy place. See, if we let tensions run the show up here, then our bodies won't perform at their best out here. Wait, are we going to the sound check? Priorities. So I'm partnering with Cigna to remind you that how you're doing emotionally affects you physically. Go for your annual checkup and be open with your doctor about anything you're feeling. Physically and emotionally. Body and mind. Cigna, together all the way. Don't let cracked skin tell you what to wear. New Aveeno Crack Skin Seek Ointment with Shea Butter and Triple Oak Complex. For fast relief, and a protective barrier for lasting relief. Wear what you love. Avino. It's open. Hi. This is amazing. With moderate to severe ulcerative colitis. Are you okay? Even when I was there, I never knew when my symptoms would keep us apart. So I talked to my doctor about Humira. 
I learned Humira can help get and keep UC under control when other medications haven't worked well enough. And it helps people achieve control that lasts, so you could experience few or no symptoms. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Before treatment, get tested for TB. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common. And if you've had TB, hepatitis, be, are prone to infections or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Be there for you and them. Ask your gastroenterologist about Humira. With Humira, control is possible. Welcome back to CBS This Morning. Here's a look at some of this morning's headlines. The Washington Post reports confirmation hearings begin today for Andrew Wheeler, and he's the nominee for EPA chief. His lobbying work for coal companies is expected to draw scrutiny. Wheeler has been acting chief for six months. During that time, the EPA has rolled back several environmental measures. Last year, the number of pollution cases the EPA referred for criminal prosecution hit a 30-year low of 166. The New York Times reports a witness in the El Chapo trial testified the Mexican drug lord paid former Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto a $100 million bribe. El Chapo is on trial in New York on murder and drug conspiracy charges. A Colombian drug trafficker said El Chapo boasted about paying the former president to call off a manhunt for him. A spokesman for Peña Nieto has called the, full, the claim false and defamatory. People report that Texas mom vanished after she said she was meeting a co-worker to see a movie. 38-year-old Emily Wade of Ennis was last seen January 5th. The Chili's waitress has a 7-year-old daughter. The father of their daughter, Jared Jones, says he is cooperating with authorities. He says he just wants Wade to come home. CBS Portland affiliate WGME reports a bizarre ice disc. It's getting international attention. It's slowly spinning in the middle of the river in Westbrook. That's a suburb of Portland. Take a look at this. It's 300 feet wide and is even making headlines overseas. The frozen circle was formed from the churning water current created by a nearby waterfall. It's pretty. They say it's a perfect circle. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And NewJersey.com reports an unknown 17-year-old beat 30,000 others for the part of Maria in Steven Spielberg's remake of the classic 1961 film West Side Story. Rachel Zegler says she is humbled to play the role, which means so much to the Hispanic community. She played Maria in a high school theater production, and she's got a beautiful voice. That yeah, it's hard for me to get a sense of her voice in that clip, but she's posted singing Shallow in December, and she has 8 million views. I want to go listen to that. So she's they say her voice is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the good thing is she's memorized the lines, too. Yeah. <laughs> she's already been in so already got a leg off. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yeah. No problem there. No. <laughs> well, director Jason Reitman won watched the original Ghostbusters filming when he was six years old, ahead his plans for a new version of the popular movie set in modern times. Introducing the new WW, Weight Watchers Reimagined. Freestyle is our most livable program ever. For everybody who wants the freedom to eat what they love and still lose weight. For everybody who wants to go out and not miss out. And who wants to enjoy more with over 200 zero-point foods. WW Freestyle is proven to help people lose weight, sleep better, and feel happier. Join for free and get one month free. I switched to Liberty Mutual because they let me customize my insurance. And as a fitness junkie, I customize everything, like my bike and my calves. Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance, so you only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. <coughs> Hi, Susan. <gasps> Honey, yeah. I respect that, but that cough looks pretty bad. Try this new Robitussin honey. The real honey you love, plus the powerful cough relief you need. Mind if I root through your trash? New Robitussin honey, because it's never just a cough. Yep. I'm doing this. We're really doing this. We're finally doing this. I am so doing this. We're really doing this? You could be doing this when you sail with the number one cruise line in Alaska. Princess Cruises, seven days from $6.99. Visit princess.com. 
I can do more to lower my A1C. Because my body can still make its own insulin. I take Trulicity once a week to activate my body to release its own insulin, like it's supposed to. Trulicity's not insulin. It works 24-7. It comes in an easy-to-use pen, and I may even lose a little weight. Trulicity is an injection to improve blood sugar in adults with type 2 diabetes when used with diet and exercise. Don't use it as the first medicine to treat diabetes or if you have type 1 diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis. Don't take Trulicity if you or your family have medullary thyroid cancer, you're allergic to Trulicity, or have multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, or severe your stomach pain. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Taking Trulicity with a sulfonylurea or insulin increases your low blood sugar risk. Common side effects include nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and decreased appetite. These can lead to dehydration, which may worsen kidney problems. To help lower my A1C, I choose Trulicity to activate my within. Ask your doctor about once-weekly Trulicity. Brushing only reaches 25% of your mouth. Listerine cleans virtually 100%, helping to prevent gum disease and bad breath. Never settle for 25%. Always go for 100. Bring out the bold. Tonight on an all-new Late Show. Trump has painted himself into a corner, which isn't easy when your office is oval. Stephen's got Jake Gyllenhaal tonight. When you're on the go, we deliver the headlines straight to your phone. And when your busy day's over, there's only one place to turn. Eyewitness News at 11. New, exclusive, and live from your neighborhood. With depth, perspective, and what it means for you. Asking tough questions, getting the answers that matter to your family. And preparing you for what's coming next. The headlines and breaking news all day long. And what it means for you every night at 11. Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 11 is everywhere. The best winter ever in the all-new three-row 2019 Subaru Ascent, starting at only $31,995, or lease for only $339 per month. The Ascent offers up to 5,000 pounds of towing capacity, so you'll love playing in the snow. Buckle up for the best winter ever. This will be the best winter ever. This will be... And the furniture isn't hooked up. You can't use it. What does that even mean? It won't be hooked up for another week. That's absurd. <sighs> I told you. But it's like right here. But it's not hooked up. You can't use it. Keep trying. You don't wait to use your furniture. Why wait to use your internet? You're right. It's not hooked up. Get up and running on day one. Switch to Cox and get up to one gig speeds everywhere. Plans starting at $29.99 per month. Channel 3, early warning weather, morning update. 7.57, beautiful start out there. We have got mostly sunny skies and pretty cold temperatures. The temperatures are a little wonky this morning. They're kind of all over the place, colder in northeast Connecticut. Let's talk about the storms that are moving in. Weaker of the systems come in tomorrow night through Friday morning. Precipitation starts as snow tomorrow night and impacts the Friday morning commute with maybe one to two, possibly even three inches of snow in parts of the state. Then storm number two rolls in Saturday night through Sunday, and that's a more substantial system. Starts as snow Saturday night, could be a heavy burst of snow changing over to a period of ice and a mix of uh, ice and snow and sleet and then all rain during the day on Sunday that could be heavy at times and then the storm could end as the possibility of a little bit of snow at the tail end of the system so a very messy day a very messy night Saturday night late through the day on Sunday highs today in the mid to upper 30s to near 40 your seven-day forecast includes storm number one Thursday night through Friday and then Saturday night through Sunday 758 is now the time to close up next with traffic now, early warning pinpoint traffic, driven by your Connecticut Chevy dealers. All right, good morning, everyone. We actually have a new incident to tell you about. This is in Wyndham on Airport Road, right where it intersects with Route 6, also known as Boston Post Road. There's a car fire in the area, so just a heads up for all of you who will be traveling through there. Uh, some good news, we have that Route 8 southbound crash finally cleared in Waterbury. This is right between exits 34 and 33. The residual delays, not necessarily cleared yet, but we'll get through them. Kind of mixed in with the morning rush, so that's why we're dealing with some 
heavier traffic than normal approaching the Mixmaster. But again, uh, we will get through it. We are dealing with a little bit of sun glare out there, by the way, as you just saw in that camera. So please make sure you're grabbing those shades before you leave the house. And remember, uh, Danbury's, or excuse me, Metro North's Danbury branch has been experiencing up to about 40 minutes worth of delays this morning due to some previous mechanical issues. So make sure to listen to the announcements at your station. Connecticut winters can be brutal. It is snarling up things. That's why Connecticut relies on early warning weather. We want to see what's going on at your house. Weather alert days to keep you prepared. The models are coming in hot and heavy.